Gerald, what are you doing sucking Sharky's dick again? Oh, Gerald, you little rascal, you Gerald. Naughty Gerald, I'm DJ Dylan Francis. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's right, guess what? It's your boy, DJ Wolfie here. I'm quitting pop music. I don't give a fuck. I found my true calling, which is being a progressive house. DJ artist, I dyed my hair black. It's, everything's changed. I'm gonna show you kids inside the mind of a true EDM progressive house DJ artist. The chain smoke, I, I mean myself. My, no shit, myself, obviously. When I make my music, I really try to make it sound exactly the same. A plain generic intro that sounds like every other song. And a two minute build up that's definitely way longer than it needs to be. <laughs> so, uh, I'm here just using my favorite program, GarageBand. I mean, Logic Pro X. My biggest influences, you probably never heard of them. You heard, you heard of Green Day? My Chemical Romance. Most of all, my biggest musical influence is this really underground DJ. No one's ever heard of him. He's called Skrillex. It's like an extremely underwhelming and unsatisfying drop. It's almost like it builds you up and you're jacking off and you feel so good. It feels so fucking good. You're about, to, you're about to jizz. But then all of a sudden the camera pants to the guy's face and, and you bust, right? When it's on the guy's face. And then you realize you're gay. What the fuck is up, Coachella? Let me see your fucking hands! A lot of people have accused you of using a fake British accent when you perform. What are your thoughts on that? <sighs> yeah, sorry. No idea what you're talking about. Who the fuck wants a shark? I got, I got, a, I got a fucking shark! <laughs> I, I got one. So what inspired me to be a mother flipping DJ? I just, when I heard this, this unique, unique genre called EDM, I just... I just fell in love immediately, like the sound. That's the most fucking unique sound I've, I've ever heard in my life. Now let's say you're like most DJs and you actually have no fucking idea how to produce music. Have no fear, just do what 90% of DJs out there do, which is just hire a ghost producer to write all your songs for you. Except Steve Aoki, of course. He completely writes all of his own music. You, you with the, show, show me your tits and I'll, I'll throw you the chart. Damn, that, that's nice tits. I always wondered why at EDM festivals like EDC and shit, there's this overall theme of positivity. One festival is called Life is Beautiful. The slogan for EDC is all are welcome here. And I just didn't understand why is there why is so much positivity? That is, until I did a fuck ton of Molly. I use samples in my songs from things in nature that inspire me. I once sampled an old woman's queef. I then made love to her. Sample that shit too. Do I know what plur means? Yeah, yeah, no, no shit. Are you looking it up on your phone? Right no, now? no, I'm not. I'm, it, pl plur stands for P. Ness lesbians up your ass rotisserie chicken. Now that you got your song all set up, all you need to do is click play. No, seriously, like literally, your shows. All you have to do on your DJ board is press play. Maybe do some cool dance moves. That's literally uh, that's that's all it is. <laughs> drugs at music festivals? How else are you supposed to sit through chain smokers? You expect people to sit through that shit sober? And that kids is my story as your dad, DJ Wolfie. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you stayed all the way to the end, do me a quick favor. Click that subscribe button. Click that like button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you real soon. Bye.